Hi all. In this video lecture, we will be covering the topic Object Oriented Concepts. It is an important topic in almost all the interviews as well as for all university examinations. This question will be there. So please watch this carefully and study these topics. We have discussed about object oriented design in one of our pre previous video lecture. In this video lecture, we will just brief, briefly go through what is object oriented programming and then we will start discussing about the various object oriented concepts. So what is object oriented programming? As we have seen in one of our video, our previous video lecture, object oriented design is actually a software designing approach in which we are giving importance to objects. Similarly, object oriented programming it's also a programming language or a category of programming languages which give more importance to objects okay so consider we the human beings as an object okay so right now I'm going to explain what an object is that we have seen this definition before but I just want you to re remind those things so when we consider each thing as an object we are not saying that we the human beings are not programmed actually right but if we consider human beings as an object or we can say that in terms of object oriented programming each and every real world entity is an object so since we are also a, a real world entity that is human beings is also and also a real world entity so humans can also be considered as an object and why object oriented programming is saying that any real world entity is an object because each and everything in this world has got some data data means some fields they are also known as attributes and also every object or everything every item in this world has got some functions some procedures they are known as methods so we can think of an object as anything in this world that has got some data or attributes plus some methods that makes use of these attributes okay so in this slide you can see we are considering person as an object that is ourselves we all have unique name height age gender all these are our attributes that means attributes means something that defi defines ourselves or that describes ourselves for example that man is very tall his height is that much his weight is this, this much he has got a brown or gray hair all these things are actually some features that describes each person similarly for each and every object in this world there are certain features that clearly describes it so objects will be having fields or attributes at the, at the same time they will also have some methods methods are exactly the same as functions in C programming because it is this method that inside which we are writing the codes so I am again repeating once again if we can consider human beings as an object okay when we talk about human beings as a programmed person we can think of all these things as our data or fields like name age gender and the responsibilities we perform or the functionalities we perform like talk run eat all these are its methods okay so from now on we'll try to visualize or try to think everything as an object our computer or mobile phone our, the pens we use consider everything as an object and think of what all will be its fields or attributes and what all will be their functions or methods for example if you take uh, our computer as an object okay the computer model name the motherboard number the chipset number all these are their attributes and their methods include we can watch movie we can wa we can listen to music all these are their methods because that is what they perform right so everything in this world everything around you can be considered as an object just look around you and what all things you see just consider just just, just try to visualize all those things as an object and try to find some attributes in all those objects and try to find out what all are the methods or procedures those objects have okay so that is what we are seeing in this slide 
we have came across this same objects in the previous video lecture we all we have also discussed our classes and the relation between object and a class that also we have seen before okay now coming to our main topic that is object oriented programming concepts okay so think like this if i show you a pencil and if i say that it's a car will you agree none of you will agree that because all of you know what is a car right and all things every everything that has that is identical to or what we can say if you want to say something as a car we want to call an object a thing as a car that object must have four tires four doors power windows engine uh, wipers brake accelerator etc all everything must be there if we are seeing one object and if all these things are there in that object we can say that it's a car so when we see a pencil we know that it's not it's not a car because if something has to be called as a car these these and these features must be there that is already defined by us right similarly if you want to call a programming language as object oriented programming language there are certain concepts though that this programming language has to satisfy so what i mean is if you people are really fond of introducing a new programming language and if you are discovering a new programming language if you are releasing a new programming language by your own if that programming language satisfies all the concepts that we are going to discuss now then we can say that the new programming language designed by you is an object oriented programming language so in other ways we can say that object oriented programming language are just, are just a ca category so all the languages that belong to this category must satisfy certain important concepts that is what we are going to see next the first among those concepts is abstraction these are the four different object oriented concepts that any object oriented programming language have to satisfy the first one is abstraction we will see one by one so abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance apart from this object class so all together there are six object oriented programming concepts out of which object and class we have seen in the previous video lecture so in this video lecture we will be discussing about these four object oriented concepts so first we will see what is abstraction we have seen this or we have came across this word in one of a previous video lecture abstraction means to show only the important details to hide the complexity that is known as abstraction and we have seen some examples also that is when we switch on a fan when we switch it on the fan start rotating isn't it but in between that when we switch on the fan and be before the fan starts running or starts rotating there are so many things that takes place in between that two process or two stage but we are not aware of that and those underground details are, are hidden from us that is known as that's that the best example for abstraction similarly think of similarly think of uh, some other examples in in your own real life day to day life what all things can be considered as an abstraction just think just try to find out one or two instances or one or two events that is abstract so abstraction the definition is like this it's a process of hiding the implementation details from the user only the functionality will be provided to the user so once again we are hiding the implementation details as how we, it is done how what are the codes inside a method what all or how a method performs a task that is hidden from the user only thing the user will be knowing is if we use a method we will get a particular result for example we have as sqrt method in c programming like right square to find out the uh, square root okay it comes in under the math.h so if you want to find out square root of a number we have to just use that method that function and give an input we will get the square root of that number but how that method gives the result or what is happening inside that method that is not known to us that is the implementation details is hidden from us 
okay so we can consider lots and lots of examples take our mobile take our car take our bike everything can be considered as abstract because they are hiding so many implementation details we are not aware of that that is known as abstraction okay next one is encapsulation so i think all of you are familiar with the capsule you can see a picture on the right hand side of this slide okay so see this capsule we all have uh, took this medicine when we are sick actually we have seen these kind of capsules in our real life so how it is working actually the, is it the uh, the covering that creates the that is a medicine have you ever uh, tried to open this capsule and see what is inside it yes that is the actual medicine is situated or it is inside this out uh, this outer covering that in other words we can say that this outer covering act as a protect protective layer from the outside world and this protective covering this wrapping is actually uh, protecting or covering all the medicines inside it the same thing can be implemented in programming also the same feature is known as encapsulation so encapsulation can be defined as a mechanism for wrapping the data that is the variables and the code acting on the data so when we do programming encapsulation is achieved by this or like this we'll be creating a single block or, or suppose a single file inside that file there will be so many variables and method variables and methods the importance is on the, the most important point here it is only the methods inside that file can make use of these variables that means the contents within that file can communicate with each other it is not possible for somebody else from outside to contact or to communicate with any of these variables inside the file so th that is what happening in this case in the case of capsule also so when we hear the uh, the term encapsulation just think of this picture okay so in this picture this uh, this protective covering this this plastic protective covering is actually encapsulating that is binding together all the actual medicine inside it okay so this process is also known as data hiding and these are the advantages of this encapsulation that is unauthorized data access that is we can restrict the access to the pe people outside the protective wrapper we can control the access then we can hide the data inside a class or inside a capsule and we coupling means there is no relation between one capsule and the other capsule okay that is what we mean by we coupling that is between the objects or between the uh, i things there will not be much attractive force okay so, so what is the importance of that we coupling so even if we remove one capsule that is not going to affect the other ones so when we talk about programming if you are going to modify one particular thing it's not going to affect the other things the third most important object in the programming concept is polymorphism all of you might have heard about the term polygon when you have studied mathematics poly means many the word poly means many and gun means sides that is why so all of you know the definition for polygon polygon means a structure with multiple sides so polymorphism means many faces that is a single item it will be having different faces as you can see in this picture we have a security guard this security guard will be performing different operations based on the situation in which he is actually present so security guard will be checking the id card or anything else when a new person enters a building the same security guard will be a uh, guarding or will be as a protocol will be uh, receiving the uh, the most important personalities of a company okay so he, the he may be opening the door for that madam so that is his duty again the same security guard may be accompanying as a guard for his boss so these three functionalities are done by the same person so this three this same person is acting differently in three different scenarios that is known as polymorphism many faces okay we can consider another example as of our, mo our mobile phone if you want to use a torch light we can use the mobile phone for that if you want to watch a movie we can use mobile phone if you want to listen to music we can use a mobile phone 
if you want to play games then also we can use mobile phone so the same thing is used for all these things so the mobile phone is having multiple faces depending upon the scenario in which we are using it that is known as polymorphism so its definition is very important its ability of an object to perform different actions or exhibit different behaviors based on the context i hope it is clear next is inheritance inheritance you might have heard this word when you have studied biology in 10th or 12th okay inheritance means we all we human beings uh, often inherit certain properties from our parents it may be our sound it may be our color it may be our hair tone okay we always inherit certain properties from our parents okay the same thing is known as inheritance when we talk about inheritance in terms of programming language this is the definition for this process where one class acquires the properties of another so we have two files if one file is copying certain features from another file then we can say that there is inheritance between them okay and the most important advantage of inheritance is code reusability okay so you have to relate these terms with these keywords code reusability means inheritance data hiding means encap abstraction and binding means encapsulation okay you can see the picture here inheritance we have the basic burger is actually the main class and we can have a chicken burger or beef burger even them so as i just just said burger is the main isn't it burger we have a main burger and all the other chicken burger and beef burger are actually variations of this burger this main item burger right so we can call burger as the parent the chicken burger and the beef burger can be considered as their child their its children pa this burger's children because the basic format in chicken burger and beef burger both remains the same right and why we are saying that this is a burger because we can see two buns and in between two buns we'll be having chicken so many leafy vegetables cabbage etc so the difference between the parent and this child is there are some more things added here like cheese layer uh, maybe the chicken cutlet here it may be vegetable cutlet so only the contents that varies so apart from this so what we can say this chicken burger is inheriting some properties from its parent class that is burger okay like we say that we inherit certain properties from our parent so when we talk about inheritance in terms of programming language inheritance is a concept which is used for reusing the code that is written once we can reuse the code any number of times okay so once we have developed a software if we want to modify or if we want to build on the software we can use the all the existing code if we need there is no need to write from from the scratch so already existing code can be used several number of times that is known as code reusability and that is available in object oriented programming just because of this concept known as inheritance so this is the definition for inheritance okay i hope it's clear from this, this picture what do we mean by this inheritance okay then we can see how this object oriented pro uh, object oriented programming concepts can be related to our real life see this tv is an abstraction because when we switch on the tv we can see different different programs but there are so many things that takes place inside the tv before we see that program but that all those things are hidden from us then encapsulation that is when we go to an atm okay when we will be entering our pin number then all those things that so one atm machine will be dealing with the customers that uses that atm machine alone so all the methods or the variables inside that atm machine will be its own okay it is it's actually hiding which is actually wrapping up all the data and methods that that machine have to use it's not bother about any other machine that is known as encapsulation then inheritance as you can see we the children we know that children always inherit certain properties from their parents it may be their color it may be their hair tone it may be their weight or height anything like that genetics we can say okay then see polymorphism we can cook rice in a microwave oven we can also bake cake in a, in a in a microwave oven so the same oven is used for 
different purpose so same thing but we get we are getting the output as different so the same thing can be used for multiple purposes the output that we get depends upon the scenario in which we are using it that is known as polymorphism so we will conclude the, this video lecture so in this video lecture we have discussed what is object oriented programming what is an object I, we have defined it once again and we also discussed the four important object oriented concepts they are abstraction encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism these are very important you can expect a sure question for you units take some so, so, so study these things very properly okay if you have any doubts you can contact me thank you so much we will see in the next video lecture. Thank you.